Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up some multi currency in your Squarespace website in 2024. So today we're going to guide you through the process of setting up multi currency on your Squarespace website. Enabling multi currency allows your customer to shop in their preferred currency. So they can understand how much a product is specifically. Providing a seamless and localized shopping experience. So let's dive into this video and let's get started. Make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and access your Squarespace account. To do so, go and open a browser. Here I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the Seattle section, type squarespace.com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen the main screen if you have an account you'll find your icon here if you're already logged in if you don't make sure to you'll find the login option here click on it to log in into your account or click on get started to create a new account you can use google if you don't want to get through all the bar steps of creating or even logging into your account so for me i'll just go and click in here and click on account dashboard so i can access my squarespace account and as you can see from here i'll be able to access my website if i have one if you don't have one you basically be able to click on create websites at the top right corner and if you don't know even how or you need some assistance there is a video that's already made about how to create a new website on squarespace you can go and check it out so for me i'll just go here to log in my account without any problems and yeah as you can see welcome to this website so if you want to set up some multi-currency in my squarespace website Normally, we should go and access the commerce section or selling section. So if you go to this left panel and click on selling as an example, here we'll find like products, uh, orders, discounts, selling tools, as an example, set up, setting up your store. So payments, add payments uh, or add ways to get paid. So as an example, if we go and click on that, as you can see, you can enable some options like Stripe, PayPal, Square. And as you can see on the settings here, you have the store currency. So on the store currency, as you can see, you can choose the currency of the store. You use dollars, uh, as you can see, a lot of things here that you can choose from. But you would like to set up like a multi-currency, not just one currency for your store. So as you can see in here, if we go to store currency, there is an option to choose one currency. So how can you basically uh, add this and of course, to uh, add it, basically, there is an article here. So, as example, like if you click on learn more, they show you exactly how to do it. So, as example, if you want to change your currency, to change your currency, you only first of all to connect a payments processor. You can connect Stripe, PayPal, uh, business accounts, or both. Open your store payments panel. Click on your store currency, select the available currency from the top menu, from the drop down menu, as example, as we said in here. and Click on save. So where's the multi-currency? As you can see here, Squarespace supports these currencies at the time. So if you click on it, of course, you'll be able to see which currencies. So let me just show you like all those currencies. But as we said, we need multi-currencies. So as you can see in here, you'll find to show price and multiple currencies, you'll have to add lists to products, uh, additional information. So I'll just go and click on that. So once you click on it, add in uh, additional information to products. Like if we go here, so you can add some custom content to a products page by adding blocks in the additional info section of the products editor. This will help you enhance the page layout to provide details that entice customers to make a purchase. Additional info uh, great for adding additional images, products, videos, dimension, care instructions, ingredients, and disclaimers, shipping and return information, information relevant to accessibility and reviews via third party. As you can see, there is a tip here that you can watch uh, that you can also like display some related products. So basically, uh, to set up like the multi-currency, you will need to create some uh, additional info pages to your, uh, your of course, products. So we basically here, we'll go to this left panel also. And I'll just go back to selling. I'll go to products in here. As an example, I have here one product. So for you, of course, you can go. I'll go and access this product. So of course, for you, you can uh, go and access other products. So as an example here, we have this additional info section. So if we go here, as an example, so put additional info in your products page. 
a longer description uh, videos or other content so here we can put some text as example you can put a lot of sections example so there's text uh, image a lot of things that you can add as example so here in business we have products digital products scheduling some integrations like those some filters as example and even some premium options if you want to but before of course all of that so let me just go and i'll just click on apply here we said or they said before in the article you'll need to connect a payments provider that i still did not do so we go back to selling here and we go to payments as example we'll need to go and connect one of those so stripe paypal or square as example you can connect whatever you want so click on whatever you want for me as an example i am on just on the trial so i'll not be able to connect it uh, paypal so stripe it seems like i can so i'll just go and do that in here enter this right here and then i'll have to enter the password so basically i'll just go and get that then i guess they'll need uh yeah the code for my authenticator app so i'll just go and get that right here and i should be logged into my account without any problems so click on connect of course if you don't have an account or you want to uh, you don't want to attach your personal account you can create a new account on stripe and simply connect into it and fill up of course all the other informations and it should be connected right away you can do the same with square as an example and connect into your account if you want to so just fill up your informations and you'll be good to go so once you connect to a payments provider it's time to do the options of adding some additional information so sorry so you'll have to go to products as example here click on the product you have click on additional info and simply add the additional info of as they say in here so if you go uh, to show price in multiple currencies add lists to products like additional information so you can go here and keep adding lists as an example for your multiple currencies so example you can add maybe uh, this products and uh, so this is in usd it shows in my stores for example you can put ngpy uh, it's cost like example this amount and euros it's cost maybe as example this amount and etc so i'm just putting something random here and that's the only way that you can put multiple currency and like yeah, in the products here in squarespace so this is going to be it for me today thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye